Today, I speak facts. Anyway, the first thing us guys would like to protect is our knob. I go treasure hunting. Oh, sh**. What's this? And I try out erotic asphyxiation. Uh, uh, uh. What's good? It's the Hunter Hoffman back with insane content! In this video, I'm gonna show you how to protect your car against those low life thieves. First, however, I love making video for you guys and I wanna keep making more. So if you could subscribe and help out the channel, that would mean a lot to me. Alright, enough of the babbling, let's get into it! We're back! We're back on the M2! If you don't want this to happen to your M2, you better stick around! Alright guys, so this happened today. <sighs> yep. That's, yeah, that's terrible news. Did I get your attention? I did? Well, let's dive right into it! All right, so what I bought was a security kit made by BMW. This security kit contains some stickers, a bolt with threat locker, and these kidney stone-like inserts for torque screws. Not that I know what kidney stones look like. Ow. Uh. Anyway, the first thing us guys would like to protect is our knob. So we're gonna start out by protecting my knob. So first we're gonna pop this panel off and then I'm gonna show you what the inserts will do. So we're gonna stick our plastic tool in here and pop this panel off. There we go. Oh sh**, what's this? That's pretty insane. So this exposes the four screws by which the shift knob is installed. So we're gonna grab ourselves one of these and then we're gonna insert this in the top of the screw so that you won't be able to screw it out anymore. So now we're gonna carefully place the inserts in one of the screws. Then with the punch, we're gonna carefully punch it in and repeat the process for the other ones. So here's what it then looks like. Yeah. Good luck getting my knob now, thieves. Obviously, you would need to do the same with the iDrive controller. One, two, three. I don't have this piece of trim at the moment in which the iDrive controller screws in. So we're just gonna continue with the head unit and the central information display. So first up, we're gonna pop this panel off. Make sure to disconnect the connector. Then we're going to remove this panel. And disconnect this as well. So obviously the head unit with the central information display are very expensive parts. Thieves really like these parts, hence why these screws are going to be accommodated with the inserts as well. So that should a thief get entrance to my car ever again, he's going to have a very hard time getting these parts out. So I showed you the process earlier. So with the magic of editing, we're going to get this done real quick. So there we have it, our very expensive head unit and central information display secured. So as you can see, the inserts have been punched in so that the thieves would not be able to remove this. So you might wonder, how would you remove this then? As you might have guessed, you would need to drill these bad boys out. So that will be the only way to remove these very expensive parts again. So we're going to put the interior back together and continue. Before we do so, however, I wanted to show you how I got these inserts in over there without dropping them into the interior. So I grabbed a random tool and I put this double-sided sticky tape on there so that I could press in the inserts in the screws. Also note that these aren't magnetic, so you won't be able to get them out with a magnet. All right, so now it's time to put this back together. <sighs> All 
All right, so the next part of the security kit is this steering wheel bolt. The instructions say to remove the original bolt, retap the threads of the steering wheel spindle, and then afterwards install the micro encapsulated steering wheel bolt. I'm not sure what the added value of this is, but I suppose it would be extremely hard to loosen, winning you some time when thieves try to steal your steering wheel. So once this car gets a new steering wheel, I will obviously install this bolt as part of the security kit, but yeah. Let me know in the comments down below what you think is the added value of this. All right, so on to the next part. So the security kit also comes with these stickers. So the stickers are supposed to be applied to the rear side windows. On the one hand, it may act as a spoiler for thieves, as they would know that they would need a drill to steal your parts. On the other hand, it may scare them off, as it would complicate things for them. As I'll be using the security kit, I will go ahead and stick one of these bad boys on. So let's quickly do that now. So we're first going to clean the window a bit. And then put one of these bad boys on. This is actually the first time I sit in the rear of my own car. I have no headroom at all. Anyway, so let's give this a go. I've got four of them, so I can mess up multiple times. Yeah, that kind of went well, actually. Let's see how it looks. Hmm, all right, I don't like it. I'm gonna remove it again. <laughs> All right, so as prevention is better than cure, I also bought one of these. This is a dummy OBD2 port, and this would have definitely saved my M2, but also my friend's M2, or another M2. These both happened in Amsterdam within six weeks of each other. Crazy. So why this dummy OBD2 port would have saved our cars is because after smashing or forcing open your window, thieves use one of these. With this tool, they can force on the ignition via the OBD2 port, making the alarm stop. This applies to all BMWs 1, 2, 3, and 4 series from 2011 up to and including 2020, including the M models. So had I installed one of these, uh, uh, uh. their force ignition tool wouldn't have worked, probably making the thieves flee the scene. For me, it's too little too late, but I hope this will save you some trouble in the future. All right, so let me show you how it works. All right, so after plugging in the cable in the original OBD2 port, we've got two new OBD2 ports. The real one and the fake one. So I'm gonna use this VP Bluetooth adapter to show you how it works. So when I plug this into the real OBD2 port, the light turns on and this would now work as normal. The cool thing about this dummy port is that it does have current running through it. So if we now use the same adapter on the dummy port, look what happens. As you can see, the dummy port provides current through the device so that thieves think that this is a live OBD2 port while it isn't. All right, so as it's very hard to film and relocate the OBD2 port all over there, I'm gonna go ahead and do this off camera and show you the results once I'm finished. All right, yeah, so in the end, I filmed parts of the install and I'll just let you know what I did. So to remove this panel in the driver's side footwell, you would need to remove these two screws, disconnect two connectors, and then you're presented with the original OBD2 port. I also removed this panel, but in the end that appeared to be unnecessary. So then we removed the original OBD2 port with a plastic tool like so. So then after connecting the cable to the original OBD2 port, I installed the dummy port in the original spot and had the live port with the Bluetooth adapter connected wired on the frame of the dashboard like this. So as you can see here, the OBD2 port and the Bluetooth adapter work fine, so then it was a matter of putting everything back together and call it a day. Alright, that was it. I want to thank DummyOBD.com for hooking me up with their cable. They were really fast in responding and in shipping. I'll put all their information in the description down below, so go check them out. Guys, please consider subscribing so that I can make some more insane content for you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and see you next time! All right, so the, all right, so the next part, <clears throat> all right, so the next part of the security, I hey, need to hold. All right, so the next part of the security kit, hey. All right, so the next part of the security, all right, so the next part of the security kit is this steering wheel. All right, so the next part of the security kit is this steering wheel bolt. 
This steering wheel. Oké, ze zou. Ik kan het gewoon niet. Oké, okay, nou nog één keer. Let's go. Uh, 